What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an Achievement Walkthrough for Castle of No Escape. This game's on Xbox One for only $2.99 and it's a very easy completion. You can get all the achievements in like 5 to 10 minutes. They recently updated this game to make it easier and they added more achievements. It was normally just 1,000, now it's 2,000 gamer score. So I'm going to run you through this game and show you how to complete and get all 2,000 gamer score very easily. So this game has 15 achievements. It had 10 before, but then they added 5 more. 5 really easy ones. The first 3 are for starting the game with each of the characters. There's 3 different characters. Before we had to complete the game, now all we have to do is start the game with each character. Meet the friendly NPC. There's one that uh, tries to sell you stuff. He's easy to find. He's like all over the place. Successfully evade an attack. For this one, you gotta punch an enemy first, and then you gotta uh, just move away. And uh, this will pop. Find and use an orb. There's these purple orbs around. You gotta find them. And then once you find it, you gotta press A on it to use it. Open your first chest. Open a second chest. When you find the orb, just keep spamming A on it. And you'll eventually fail using it. And we'll get this achievement. Don't do anything for 10 seconds. This is gonna be our first achievement. Once we start the game, we're just gonna stand there until this pops. Reach the second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, and sixth floor. Very easy, there's six floors and you just have to go between them using the stairs. So these are the three different characters. We're going to start with the first one, Champion. So press L bumper. You're going to get the achievement for starting with this character. And then we're just going to stand still for 10 seconds so we get that other achievement out of the way. There we go. So now this game, all we do is just move around the different question marks and there's different stuff for them. You might find an enemy or you might find stairs. I found stairs to go down. I'm on floor one right now. Now if I go down the stairs, I'm on floor six, which is the top floor. And I get an achievement for reaching that floor. There's an achievement just for going on each floor. So you just have to find the stairs. But you know, it's RNG, you just gotta see what's under the question marks. Here I just found a uh, stairs going up. So if I go up, now I'm on floor two. Let me get that achievement. Now you're going to find enemies. You can fight them with A. You don't really want to fight any enemies. You don't need to. Here's another stairs. I can go to floor 3. I'm getting really lucky right now. When you find an enemy, you want to try to uh, evade them for an achievement. So you got to hit them once and then just move off. Which I'm going to do right now. When I move up, I landed on a snake. So I hit A to hit them once and then I moved off. And there we go, that's the evade achievement. So yeah, you just want to keep moving around the question marks, trying to find the stairs. Watch out for the enemies. You want to find chest. I just found one. Once you land on it, press A on it to open it. And we get the achievement. Now we need to find a second one to open for another achievement. We also need to find the orb and the friendly NPC. This is an enemy. Oh, here we go. This is the friendly NPC. So once you land on him, just press A and this will pop. We also want to find some flares. Oh, here's a second chest. Open this. There we go. If we find flares, that's really good. Um, you press B to use them and it will show you what's under the question marks around you. Another chest. <laughs> I got some flares now. I got teleported to the fifth floor, which I haven't been on yet. That's cool. So I just need to get onto one more floor. That's the fourth floor. So I used B, and that's a flare. See, it shows me what's around me. There we go. I used one again. I got some more flares. Now this purple thing next to the stairs to the left, that's the orb. I'm going to go to it in a minute. Just want to open up some more things. These flares are like game changers. They make the game so much easier once you find them. You could just totally avoid the enemies if you can get around them. Got some more flares. And there we go. Stairs down. That's what I was looking for. So now I've been on every floor. So I got those achievements out of the way. I'm going to go back up to the fifth floor though because I want to... Uh, get that orb 
I just wanted to see what was on this floor. You don't need a lot of these things like the diamond and the opal and the books. All we need now is uh, the orb. There's two achievements that we can get on it. See if we can go around. All right, so this is the orb. Once you land on it, press A, and you'll get an achievement just for finding and using one. You might get uh, the fail achievement first. So now I just kept pressing it and I uh, failed on it, and I got this achievement. Now all I have left is to play with the other two characters. I did everything without even dying yet. <laughs> so, you can just keep going on an enemy and try to fight them until you die. And then just play with the other two characters. If you land on the enemy, just keep hitting A and you'll fight them and you'll eventually die. Or you can quit out of the game, whatever you want to do. And then we're going to play with the last character. And that's going to be our last achievement, and now we're done with this game. So there we go, that's the achievement walkthrough for Castle of No Escape. There's also Castle of No Escape 2, which is out and it's very easy, which I also have a walkthrough for. Um, you can get both games in a bundle if you want, just a heads up. But thanks for watching guys, I hope this video helps you. Leave a like if it did, and I'll catch you next time here at Achievement Land. Yeah.